This Zildjian cymbal stack sounds really good, but I'm wondering if we can't make good sounds from uh, cymbals and hardware we already have on the shelf. So in this video, we're talking about different ways to make cymbal stacks. Coming up. Hi, my name is Kevin Zahner and welcome to Rhythm Notes, a channel with a lot of videos about conga drumming, drum set, and other popular percussion. And if you want free lesson PDFs, subscribe to my newsletter, Rhythm Insider, at rhythminsider.com. You'll get a free gift when you confirm your subscription. The first stack I ever made was actually intended to be a remote hi-hat so I could play double bass and have a closed hat set up. I, I didn't even have the money for a, a proper remote hi-hat, uh, the hardware and all that, so uh, I had a couple of cymbals on a regular cymbal stand um, and it was just the best I could do. Little did I know this was something that would become you know very popular in the years to come. So what is a cymbal stack? Uh, is it a cymbal that's stacked on top of another cymbal or is it a cymbal that's stacked on top of another cymbal? You know, not to be confusing, but I think you get what I mean. The questions I want to explore specifically are, are what's the best way to build a cymbal stack and, and can I do it with just standard cymbal hardware or do I need something special? So the first step in, in building a cymbal stack is to find cymbals that fit together. When it comes to building a cymbal stack, it, it starts with the selection and, and this is a bit of a trial and error process because some cymbals fit great with one another and others, you know, not so much. So. Uh, in this example, I'm working with an 11-inch Zildjian Oriental Mini China and a 9-inch Zildjian uh, Oriental Splash that I've really been enjoying. And I tried the Splash inverted on the China, but I didn't enjoy, you know, what it was doing to my sticks. Then I tried the Splash, you know, inverted with the China on top, and, and I really liked it. It, it. it added a really good sound to my drum kit. If you're getting value out of this video, please hit that like button and please share it with someone who you think will also get value out of it. Overall, what I've learned about fitting symbols together is, is that it's all about how they make contact with one another. And, and I like the bells of the symbols to meet evenly and, and the bow and edge uh, to also make some contact to, you know, enough to excite the symbols before the sound decays. You know, you want to get them really singing a little bit before it dies down. It's, it's dry and that's nice, that's why we like them, but we also want them to speak a little bit. Another thing you can try is to just place a smaller cymbal under a larger one and really just try every possibility before switching out a cymbal you know, to try a, a new one. If you don't have a lot of cymbals and not much room in your budget to buy more, cracked or otherwise damaged cymbals are, are often affordable on eBay and Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, but just, just be careful buying stuff from strangers, of course. Step number two is to try your common hardware. Uh, once you find some symbols that work nicely together, you, you'll need hardware to mount them. So, you know, you probably noticed that I just used, uh, in the previous example, a stand, uh, 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 you know, a standard boom arm clamp, um, and I'll put some links in the description of some options. Uh, some different things that I that I use. Uh, it, it doesn't need to be anything fancy, and, and you know, you're, if you're struggling to fit the symbols on because they sound great in a certain orientation to one another, uh, perhaps cutting the felts in half would help. Uh, a lot of the stands out there have a, a ton of felt when they, uh, and they can often be torn or, or easily cut in half to accommodate a couple of sweet sounding symbols. If you want information on symbols or hardware, search Google for rhythm notes and symbols or hardware as well as anything else drumming related you might be interested in. And step number three, or, or really like option, another option uh, for stacking symbols is you could buy symbols made for stacking. Uh, I, I couldn't help it. I, I saw this, this Zildjian effects stacks and I had to try one out. They sound great when my favorite drummers are using them. So uh, I thought it was worth the cost to explore it a bit.
the Simbolt stacking technology was really interesting. It comes with a bunch of different felts to accommodate different sounds and, and cymbal configurations, but I just have this stack in a, in a basic uh, configuration with each cymbal facing the same direction. And the symbol just slides on the symbol stand, and I, I don't really fasten it anyway, it just stays there. You can switch the symbol hardware uh, and symbol to a sort of hi hat setup with the bottom symbol upside down. You know, and while we're talking about like remote hi hats, you can use a remote hi hat boom arm for stacking symbols. And the nice thing about it is that you can usually get a wider range of sloshy sounds because of the spring pushing up on the top symbol. If you like this video and you want to watch more, check out this one suggested to you by YouTube and check out this one suggested to you by Rhythm Notes. Please subscribe so we can help you level up your drumming today and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.